Hey, it's Brie here with So Not Crazy. Today we're gonna to be making these really cute macrame rainbow car charms. They're perfect for hanging on your mirror. We're gonna add this little bead here so you can also put some essential oils on it. It's raw wood, so the oils will absorb in there. I'm gonna set these off to the side. What you're going to need is some five millimeter macrame cotton cord. You'll need three pieces, one that's eight inches long, one that's seven and a half inches, and one that's six and a half inches. I also like to tape the ends like this, um, just so that they don't unravel. You can use any type of tape that you have handy. You will need sharp scissors, a fine tooth comb, or a pet hairbrush, it would be, this one has a 10 millimeter opening, and again, it's the raw wood. And then you'll need some yarn, so either three different colors, you can do the same color, it's up to you. So when you have your three pieces of cotton cord, the longer piece is gonna be this top piece of the rainbow, so that's the eight inch piece and then the seven and a half and six and a half, just so you know which colors of yarn you want to put on which pieces of the macrame cord. So this is gonna be my top part of the rainbow and I'm gonna be using this dark purple color. It doesn't really matter what type of yarn you use. I actually really like to use different like textures and of course different colors. But see this um, yarn is definitely thicker, kind of a funner, softer texture than this more traditional yarn. This one has some like gold, gold little, I don't even know what it is, but something gold run through it. So what I like to do is however much space I want at the bottom of my rainbow here. I'm gonna leave that. So I usually just leave my piece of tape visible. And I put the end of the yarn like that, laying against the cord. And then I just start wrapping. Now I have found wrapping this way is just kind of more I don't know, convenient for me or easier. You can definitely do where you're going like this. However you wrap is fine. I would just say be consistent with it. Like however you start wrapping, do that same way of wrapping um, the whole way through. You're going to want to make sure that it's touching so that there's no gaps so you don't see the cotton cord beneath it. This is a super fun craft for kids to do too. Pretty easy. Oh, you need hot glue too. I forgot to mention that at the beginning. So if a kid is doing it, they just might need some adult supervision with the hot glue. This is the same way that I make the um, petals for the macrame flowers in my DIY flower kits that I have available. I'll link to that in the description. The possibilities, the color possibilities for macrame rainbows is endless when you put in yarn like this. It's kind of fun. All right, we're almost to the end. And I stop, same as the first side, I stop where my tape starts on this side. And then when I cut, I like to leave a little bit of a tail so I have some yarn to work with just in case I need to wrap it more. Okay, and then I just leave this little loop, 
put the end through and tie it. Just like the regular, like when we're tying our shoes. Okay, now I've already wrapped my two other pieces. We're gonna have dark purple, light purple, and then that kind of fluffy beige with the gold in it. So I like to start, I like to leave all my loose tails of yarn on one side. And the first pieces you glue together are really important because that is going to determine the shape of your whole rainbow. So now you can see that the light purple yarn, I have more of it than this beige yarn. So I'm actually gonna untie this knot I did on the white purple and unwrap a little bit to make it even. And then we'll measure again. Still a little too long. That looks good. So I'll retie that knot down here. And then just while I have it here, we'll measure. Oh, that one's about spot on. I love that color combination. Okay. So let's get our hot glue gun. Now another thing I like to try to make sure is that where this knot is tied is going to be facing the piece of cord next to it so that as we're gluing it, you kind of glue that knot so that it doesn't, the yarn doesn't come unraveled. And try to put as thin of a little strip of hot glue on there as you can so that it's not just oozing out everywhere. Making sure I have the shape that I want, that these ends are pretty horizontal. And keep going. I like to do just little section at a time. If you don't want to use hot glue, you can always use E6000 is my favorite kind of alternative. Just hold it in place till the hot glue dries. Here, make sure again to get some hot glue on that knot to keep it in place. And then I like to try to touch the knot next to it in the glue as well. Get the knots in, no big deal. You can always just put a little dollop of um, hot glue over it, or you can use a, um, I think, oh, it's, it's called a tapestry needle, and just kind of weave it back in there. So now with that top piece, I'm going to cut an extra piece of the same color yarn. And this is probably, let's say maybe a foot and a half to two feet long. And I'm gonna attach it to this top piece so we are making our tie here. So we actually have something to hang it with from our mirror. So fold it in half 
then with this loop that you created, fold the loop over that top piece and put the two loose ends through. And then pull it tight. Kind of trying to try to find the center right now. Um, but if you don't, as you're gluing it, you can kind of, you just move it around a little bit, but you definitely want to make sure it's centered before you glue this section. Otherwise you can't move it. It's still just a little bit too long. So I'm going to untie it and unwrap it a little bit. Retie that knot. All right, and then we're just going to add a little bit of hot glue again. You don't have to worry so much about the shape on this side because it's already formed with those two first pieces that we did. Can tell this isn't centered already. That's okay. You can also make longer pieces of the macrame cord to make a bigger rainbow, maybe for a wall hanging. You can get some thicker macrame cord. That looks about centered. Okay. I'm going to keep gluing. If you're having fun with this and want to keep learning a new macrame project every month, where I also ship you the exact supplies you need to make that project, you'll want to check out my membership on Patreon, and I'll leave the link for that in the description too. There's two kind of levels to choose from. So you get to choose which project you would like to try. Okay. On the last little section here, again, try to make your hot glue as thin as possible. And again, I'm trying to put the dark purple knot into the hot glue. So that it's secure when we trim it. Okay, now we'll add the bead on to that extra little piece of yarn we added on. I like to fold the ends so that it's easier to stick it through the middle of the bead and I just kind of shove those folded ends through. Maybe you'll have to do a little bit of twisting, but there you go. And then the final touches, we're going to trim all of these little pieces. You're going to take the tape off the ends, and then you're going to trim them all, and with your comb, you're going to brush out these little ends, and then you'll have to trim them again, which is fine, but just brush both sides out, and that is it. That is how you make the little car charm. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.